Happier times for the Prime Minister and his Culture Secretary. But last night, Maria Miller told David Cameron she was resigning, and this morning, visibly upset, she said it had been her decision. I want to remove what has become really an unhelpful and uh, a very difficult distraction. I want to make sure that the, um, the situation um, is clear to everybody um, and make sure that uh, uh, I, I can um, move on. Ever since her half-hearted apology last week for overclaiming expenses, she had been in trouble. But the Prime Minister had defended her. She is going to pay back and she'll make a full apology and I think people should leave it at that. She apologised unreservedly to the House of Commons so I think that we should leave it there. She repaid money, she made an apology uh, and I think that's the right thing to do. Today David Cameron tried to make a virtue out of what others are saying has been a bad misjudgment. I thought it was right in those circumstances to allow her to make her apology and continue with her job. That is the way I think is the right way to handle it. This is about him and the fact he still doesn't understand what she did wrong. The, pu the reason the public was so appalled was that if it had happened in any other business, there would have been no question about them staying in their job. Many are convinced six days of bad headlines like these in the end convinced Downing Street to give Maria Miller a shove. The official line, though, she realised she was getting in the way of better news on the economy, for instance. All of those things were being obscured by uh, this row going on and on and on, and I think that was the final straw. But can you guarantee absolutely that no one, the Prime Minister down, told Maria Miller the game's up. Well, I'm not being evasive. I wasn't in any of those, any conversation like that. But the you Prime would know Minister, about it, wouldn't you? The Prime Minister was very happy to stand by her. Maria Miller made this decision. Just yesterday, Maria Miller was at number 10 as a full member of the Cabinet. We now know it was for the last time.